Hello everyone, I am back and today we are going to continue and almost finish the fabulous story that is the soul making. I know that I've been really focusing on this story alone because I'm actually obsessed with it and I need to know the end. Like, are they actually soulmates? Are they not? Some of you said that, yes, sometimes they can end up with someone that's not their soulmate. So I hope that's true because I would love for a little twist like that. Maybe Yuriko or one of our friends won't be with their soulmate. Anyway, in case you guys are wondering what Lord Byron is, he is currently outside doing his thing walking around running around i'll maybe bring him in the middle of the video who knows depends on his choice because he's the lord and i am just his servant obviously so this is his instagram my instagram our tiktok give this video a like and without further ado let's go so in the previous chapter, we went dress shopping and me and Layla put our ratchet past behind us and we're finally friends. And you know, I extended the olive branch. She accepted, let's see if she tries to screw me over again, because then mm -mm, all bets are off. But we are finally getting married this weekend. So let's do it. One day before the wedding. Oh my God, so stressful. Welcome future brides and grooms. As you know, tomorrow's the big day, the grand finale. The wedding. The wedding. Someone hand me a bucket of champagne, double box of tissues, skip ahead card. Bucket of champagne because we've been picking champagne choices this whole time and we are going to be, if anything, consistent. This is gonna be the best day of my life. We're excited for all of you too. And what better way to get ready for your big day than a live show? Woo, yay. That's right, for the first time, you'll all be together in the studio answering our viewers' questions live. live. They've got opinions as we get closer to the questions we all want answered. Who is going to come out of this with a million dollars and a soulmate? Get ready, you beautiful people. You're on camera in five. Move that butt. You've only got a couple of minutes before you're live. I know, I need something eye-catching quick. Auntie Caddy, come on, do it up. All taken care of, dear. I've got three dazzlers picked out just for you. Wear any one you want. It's on me today. Just choose fast. All right. Ooh, I love. Okay, that's kind of cute. Nope. The first one it is. Yep, that's our girl. Fabulous as always, now get out there. Oh, I'm ready. Welcome to the first live broadcast of the show that's the talk of the entire nation, the Soulmate Game. Woo, yay! You posted your most burning questions on our social media page, and today our contestants are answering them live and uncut. Uh-oh, that's gonna be dramatic, I can tell. Layla, the first question is for you. Uh-oh, so cute, when you and Pora call the truce on your feud, are you best buds now, love you both? Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, we're two peas in a pod now, like this. We even like share clothes and stuff. How about you, Pora? Mm, never thought I'd say this, but Layla's a sweetheart. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, right? Oh yeah, I've joined the dark side. No, I'm gonna say the first one. Obviously, I'm not gonna when this little budding friendship we just got going on. Layla's actually the sweetest little thing when she wants to be. The next one's a fascinating question and it's all for you. I'm not convinced every contestant actually found their soulmate. Who do you think is gonna take home the million dollars? Hmm, me and Adam, definitely not Layla. I don't care about the million dollars. I'm gonna say me and Adam because obviously. Can I be totally honest? I think only Adam and I are a perfect match. Okay, on to the next. Uh, that's not good. Wait, wait, what is the other host telling her? Hang on, right as we speak, there's a plane flying by with a very important message for one of our contestants. Brr, whoa, whoa, marry me? Who's this from? Better be Adam. Better be. Oh my god, who is this from? Oh, a proposal by airplane. How epic. But who's getting proposed to? And on live TV on top of everything? I wonder if it's me. Could it be? <gasps> My boo! Our boo! OMG, OMG, OMG. Oh my, is Adam going to propose in front of the whole country? Sad, so romantic. So freaking lucky. Keep those cameras on poor no matter what. This is prime moment for the audience. Oh my god, Adam knows how to milk this show. You're probably kind of stressed about tomorrow. Whatever happens at the altar, I want you to know you're my person, Pora. And you're my person. I want to spend the rest of my life with nobody else than you. Drift away to cloud nine, melt into a puddle, be weirdly unaffected. I'm gonna melt into a puddle. I mean, who wouldn't? It'd have to be like so cold if you didn't. Oh, babe. I brought our families here today because I want them and the whole world to witness my boundless love for you. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, this, that's our cute couple. Oh, they're all here. I want to walk down the aisle as your official fiance. Well, you have accomplished that. So, Pora, will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? Will you marry me? Duh. Wow, I love this little animation. What a ring. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Obviously, what are you waiting for? Say yes. This is the most romantic day of my life. Say yes to the man of your dreams. Tell him his proposal was lame on life TV. Ew, gross. No. Yes, a thousand times yes. Oh my god, look at the little finger. Okay. Congratulations, Pora. Go, bestie. You're that's my bestie. You two are seriously goals. I love you, Pora. And I love you. He draws you in close. You're captivated by his eyes shining with love for you. Your heart seems to flutter as his eyes slip down to your cheeks and drink in your mouth. Drink in your mouth. As soon as his lips meet, 
yours, you lose all sense of time and space. Kiss holding you oh so tight, deepening the kiss viewers be darned. Nothing else exists. Aww. Woohoo! Ooh, a dip. All right, so where are the rest of the questions? Okay, we're finally getting married. Love it. Today's a big day, little girl. You look beautiful, little lamb. Congratulations, Pora. We're so happy for the two of you. I declare it's impossible to imagine a lovelier daughter-in-law. <laughs> Aw, be sh sweet as sugar, be extra, be extra, extra, be sweet as sugar. Because we know when to be as sweet as sugar. Having you all by my side on this special day means the world to me. We're just as excited as you are. That's why we got a little something for you. Tradition says the bride has to wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Oh, what is this? Something old represents a tie to the past. We both love someone who was taken from us. Our bestie. Oh, something old. I remember that picture was just before the accident. I miss her so much, but you know, I can still feel a little part of her tucked away in my heart. Hold back your tears, let a tear leak out, emergency makeup touch up required. <laughs> I'll keep the locket forever. Thank you. Okay, that's perfect. Here's something new, dear. This bouquet symbolizes hopeful new beginnings for your future with Adam. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Uh, what color do we want? The first. Yes, something new. Perfect, so classy. Now for something borrowed. Your father and I wanted to lend you the engagement ring he gave to me when he proposed. <gasps> Yay! Something borrowed, gorgeous. Our ring symbolizes our eternal love. We hope you'll borrow it for your wedding. After 30 years of marriage, your mother's still the best friend I could ever have. Mom, Dad! Tell me your secret to eternal love. My love with Adam will last as long as yours. I promise I won't lose the ring. I'm gonna say secret. Tell me the secret to eternal love now. Just never go to bed when you're angry with each other. T talk it out. Sleep easy and you'll be fine. And finally, something blue. Oh, my baby. Oh, a garter. Now, where did you find that pistachio? Something blue. Perfect. They went above and beyond. Wow, what thoughtful gifts. I'm totally touched. How could I return the gesture? Accept their amazing presence and show them your love. Throw all their gifts in the garbage. Obviously that one, right? I don't think I can handle a wedding ceremony. You guys, this is already far too lovely. Just a few little mementos to make your special day. Woo! Okay, they all love me. What can I say? I'm so lovable. Even Pistachio is like, yeah, it's my mommy. Okay, so all the brides are here. Welcome to the bridal party car. Kasia, you're, cool. you're here too? And why not? We're all getting hitched together, so hop in, pretty lady. Oh my god, I don't know if I kind of like that, that we're all getting married on the same day, at the same venue, at the same time. I feel like everyone should have their special moment, right? Somebody remind you when the wedding starts, I left my head at home. In 20 minutes. Okay, we've got plan CF. Oh, an accident? Or our car broke down. Uh-oh. Uh, no uh-ohs allowed on my wedding day. Driver worried equals bad. Yes, improved to barbecue. I'm gonna say no uh-ohs. Allowed on my wedding day. Nope, no siree. I got some bad news and bad, bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Please don't tell me the car broke down. We yeah, will have the good news. Didn't hear anything. La 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 la. I say, please don't tell me the car broke down. Right? Right so. Unfortunately, the engine has melted down. Melted down? And even if we called another rental call, it wouldn't get here on time for you two to make it. Are you telling us we're going to miss our own weddings? We went through a lot to get here, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm a big fan of the show. But it can't help you, sorry, ladies. Ah, uh, we need to hitchhike. <gasps> oh, no, they couldn't stop for us. Hi there, dear. Have you heard from Pora recently by any chance? No, why? Is there something going on? That is not what he's wearing for a wedding, right? Like, that is not the suit he's wearing for a wedding. I mean, that's not what I approved of. The ceremonies are about to start, but we can't find her, Garcia and Yurika. Oh, shoot. What if she's having second thoughts? All three of us? Oh, damn it. Stupid car. Stupid, stupid car. Oh, oh, I can't even get a signal on my phone. That's it. There's no hope for us. Relax, girls. I've got everything under control. How? I was a wedding planner back when I lived in Japan. So you got a bike? And you waited until now to tell us? Uh, I want never to mention it again. What with all the bridezillas that attacked me? Very traumatizing. Ugh. Anyway, I've seen cars break down on the way to weddings. In fact, it's quite common. And that's why I knew exactly what to do. You always are their backup card to trail the car you're in, which is exactly what I did. Oh my god, she's telling us now? After I kicked the car 10 times? Get in, girls. This limo is ours for the day. Yuriko finally saves the day. Hop in the fancy limo and arrive on time. Oh my god, I knew you were cool, but I didn't know you were a wedding fairy godmother too. Yes. Burn rubber, baby. I bow down to your awesomeness, Yuriko. I know, right? This is a total upgrade. Free champagne, ladies. Woo! You guys know I'm always down for champagne. Ooh. Of course, we have to make an entrance in a limo. How the hell did they manage to snag themselves a luxury limo? They must have learned a trick or two from me. I'm so proud. Whoa, are they still hating on us except Layla? Layla's our bestie. What on earth happened to you? Our rental car broke down and we had no cell signal. If it weren't for Yuriko's secret wedding planner skills, we'd still be out there by the side of the road waiting for a new car. Adam thought you got cold feet. 
thank goodness you're here. He was about to have a heart attack. Well, he can relax now. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, we're all ready. Girls, the weddings are about to begin. But first, we have one last surprise for you. <gasps> Yes, the keys, the locket, do we finally find out? Ooh, our doctors. Meet Dr. Devi, Dr. Wang, and Dr. Gonzalez, the love experts behind the show. We've invited them to join us. Literally, the people who brought Adam into my life, I would have never met Adam. Oh, I would have met Adam anyway. They're gonna throw down some crazy challenge that blows up the wedding. No, I'm gonna say literally the people. I owe these folks eternal gratitude. Let's give them a big round of applause. Woohoo, yeah. What a pleasure to finally meet you all in person. We couldn't have hoped for better contestants for our first season. In your journey to find your Soulmate, you've inspired people all across the country to live out their own quest for true love. It won't be long before we find out the results of our experiment. We hope all of you have chosen your soulmate and a million dollars. But no matter what, remember that the heart knows who it truly loves. Our formula is just a nudge in the right direction. We wish you all the best at the altar. Aww, thank you. We're ready. So ready. Oh my god, what's happening? Howdy, ladies of the hour. Auntie Caddy. Hi, coach. Hey, Auntie Caddy. What's happening? What's up? Why the long faces? They just gave us an order of appearance. And I'm the last one at the altar. Who oh boy. Yeah, what if nobody wins? What if Adam is someone else's soulmate? What if I'm asleep and I wake up and none of this actually happened? I'm gonna say, what if Adam is someone else's soulmate? Like, what if? And I lose him forever. I'm doomed, I tell you, doomed. My dear, I know exactly what you need. You do? Yep. A cookie. I'm not really hungry. Where did you even get this? Is this my wedding gift? Is this my wedding gift? Even better. Have you eaten anything today, Pora? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Oh, wait, no. Mystery solved. If you're going to cross this final frontier, you'd better be well fed. Thanks, honey. Thanks, but I don't think it's going to help me. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, <gasps> that is good. Thank you. Yum. I'm her mother for God's sake, and even I haven't thought of that. I can always count on you to make my baby feel better. Thank you. You're welcome, mom. Well, now that your blood sugar is back up, I can make my exit. What? Aren't you staying with us? Wish I could, but I wasn't invited. What? I don't think the production team expected us to end up so close. It wasn't in the show's plans for me to be at the wedding. But I'm inviting you. I can't get married without you. Who's going to check my look before this time? There's going to be so many hot bachelors at the wedding. I'm going to say I can't get married without you. If you're not here, I would have never made it this far without you. You're coming to my wedding and I know exactly how to do it. Braid of... Braid of... Maid of honor. Braid of honor. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll make you my bridesmaid. What a genius idea. Oh, Pora, it'd be an absolute honor. I'm nearly in tears. We started this journey together and we're going to finish it together. Make coach your bridesmaid, make coach an honored guest. Tell her it's not important enough to be at your wedding. Let's just make her an honored guest. I mean, that's fine, right? She is honored. And also, I don't think other girls have bridesmaids, so I don't know if it's really fair, is it? Let's check. Why don't you come as my guest? Consider this your official invite. I'd be delighted. Honored guest it is. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh my god. What's happening? I need to do one important thing before putting my key in that lock. Mateo, come over here for one sec. Is that her son? Whatever happens today, we're going to be a family. A real one, okay? Oh my god, I'm dead. So cute. Please open. Yay! Score! Woo! And we have the first winners of the season. Congrats. Take home true love and a million dollars. Soulmates. Awesome. Woohoo! I knew, thank goodness they got their happy ending. Huh, Grazi and Jimin are still after all. I'm gonna say, thank goodness. Oh, thank God somebody won at least. Oh, okay, I don't really care about her. She's mean. It's not gonna open, is it? I knew it. We're so sorry. Uh, is he crying? She just like b blasts off and he's crying. Okay, you're, go get it. Yay! I love you so much, babe. I love you too. Congratulations to our second couple. They found not only love, but a million dollars. I think this show has the biggest budget I've ever seen. If each couple found their soulmate, they would all get a million dollars each. Yes, bestie! Get that Mula. Get that forever lover. Get that happily ever after. That one. Okay, babe, come on. Oh. No. It's okay, babe. I still want to marry you if you'll have me. I can't forgive you for cheating on me with Layla, but I can't. <gasps> Maybe we can get to know each other better outside the show, but I'm not ready for marriage. Oh, wait, he cheated on her and now he's holding it against her? Okay, Layla, get it. No, can't say I'm surprised. Me either. I was playing the show with my brain, not with my heart. And I messed everything up for Bea. Luckily for me, I had that chat with Pora. And I realized that it wasn't too late to turn over a new leaf. I hope you meet your soulmate someday, River. You deserve it. How about we go for a drink together after the show? I'd love that. Up until now, three couples have failed to find their soulmate. They decided not to get hitched. Only two couples have found their soulmate. They are now happily married. Last to pass the final test is our audience's most popular couple, Pora and Adam. 
Dum, dum, dum. Okay, I'm ready. The nerves. As you glide down the aisle towards Adam, you're shocked to see Nathan amongst the guests. Nathan, the man you were meant to marry. Until you discovered just a week before the wedding that he was having an affair with another woman. You know that Adam is different. You know it. I do know it. So why is Terry breaking over your body? Why? Indeed. After your ex broke your heart, you did everything in your power to protect what was left. And now you're about to give your fragile heart to someone else? I mean, the guy that literally is bringing you the world on a platter. I don't think there's even a better person out there. A person who could heal you from all your wounds or break your heart into pieces so small that you'll never be able to be put back together. Okay. <gasps> oh my God. Let's do this. Hey, love, are you okay? I, I can't. I'm sorry. I need a second. What? What's going on? Um, please talk to me, my love. I'm here for you. I've never been so scared in all my life. You know that I love you, right? Come on. Whatever happens here won't change what I feel for you. She better marry. This key means nothing. What matters is what we feel for each other. I love you and I want to face this last challenge together. But I need to know that you feel the same way. Oh my god, don't break his heart. If she breaks his heart, I will never forgive this. If you don't, then please tell me now before it's too late. It's not fair to inflict all my fears on Adam like this. He needs to hear it from you. I'm all in, honey. All in. I'm not sure about us getting married. He has nothing to do with my past traumas and he's done nothing but love me for me. All in, baby. I'm all in on us, Adam. I promise. I'm sorry about my scrambled brain. I just feel overwhelmed right now. I understand seeing Nathan here must bring back brain scrambling memories. Exactly. You have nothing to do with it though. I want you to know this. What I feel for you is real. You even helped me heal those parts of me that were hurt before I knew you. You've been the biggest blessing and the brightest light of my entire life. Thank you for telling me. It's a relief to hear it. I'm sorry for making you worry. Okay, let's do this thing, all right? You and me love together. Together. Okay, the key. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last couple to take the final step. Adam, please insert so your key oh my god open this baby oh my god the moment of truth has arrived is adam's key the one that will open your heart well i knew it was gonna be a huge cliffhanger let me know what you guys are thinking are they gonna be soulmates is it gonna be a happily ever after i feel like even if they're not soulmates they're still gonna stay together and get married but still they have to be soulmates so we get that million dollars right anyway let me know your thoughts in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this chapter give this video a like subscribe for the notification bell and i will see you guys later Bye.